I'm Ivan Zood. I am Clipper Guy for Jatai Academy. And today I want to share the top five tips for cutting in hard parts in men's haircuts. Hard parting is still something we're seeing quite a bit of in a lot of men's haircuts where the parting is fairly defined and it's actually cut in. You're going to always have to wear it with the hard part if you hard part it till it grows out. But it's not an uncommon style to see today and every day. So let's take a look at our top five tips. I'm going to use Jatai Blade Glide, which is a lightweight leave-in conditioner, a blade glide product that helps the blade slide and glide on the skin. Number one is to strike your parting. And when we go in and we strike our parting, we want a very cleanly defined parting. We want everything on one side of the parting, on that side of the parting, and we want everything on the other side of the parting, not on that side, but on the other side. And it's not easy to do on a human head, and it's not easy to do on a mannequin. One thing I like to do is I like to put a little product in the hair. This is classic wax. This is my Clipper Guy classic wax. You can get this online on my website. But a small amount of classic wax like this on your fingertip, in your hand, and in damp hair like this, it's going to give the hair a little bit of tack, it's going to give the hair a little bit of pliability, so that when we go in and strike our hard parting, the parting is going to stay a little bit cleaner, and if the parting stays a little bit cleaner, we're going to get a better, cleaner, hard part. So number one, I put a little product in the hair, now I'm going to strike my parting. Striking my parting. Now, there's no rules on where you put it. There's no rules on how long the top has to be. There's no rules on how short the sides have to be. Those are all creative choices that you make in creating your haircut. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to make that parting about at the top of the eye, and I'm going to part that hair over. Notice with the wax in the hair, I'm getting a much cleaner line. The hair is staying where I put it, and it's looking pretty good. There's my basic parting. I've established what's on one side and what's on the other. Step number two, the second thing I'll do is I'm going to finish cutting or clippering the short side. Now this short side could be left just that long and I could just come in and taper off the overhang here to create a finished look on this short side. That would be perfectly fine. I also could come in and take this in much shorter. I could take a lot of that off, and I could round up to the high hard part. The other thing I could also do, if I wish to, is I could go in with a blade against the head, or even with a guard on my clipper, and I could clipper all the way up to the hard parting. Those are all style variations, and once again, that's your call. There's no right or wrong way to do it. For the purposes of this demo, I am going to take this up just a little bit higher. I did the blending, but I'm going to go just a little bit higher on it. I'm going to take it just a little higher into it with my clipper over comb technique. Clipper comb held at an angle, blending up and into that interior, looking good. And it's only a partial haircut, but it's enough to help make our point with regards to our hard parting. So step number one was striking our parting. Of course, we use product to support it. Step number two was cutting in what we call the light side versus the heavy side. The heavy side, because that's where all that heavy hair is, the light side because things are short. Step number three is to isolate the top. Now, there's several ways you can isolate the top. I've seen people just do it with their hand. You're holding and protecting the long hair, because one of the keys to a hard part is remove hair from the short side. Don't remove hair from the long side, because the long side needs to remain long to lay long and heavy. Take your hair from the short side of the parting. Some people will use their hand to isolate that, but I don't have enough hands. I need one hand to hold my clipper. I need one hand to hold my comb. I need one hand to hold the hair. I don't have that many hands. So while some people will hold it with their hand, other people will use a traditional duckbill clip. Now, I don't have one of those because I go here. I go to grippers. Everybody knows and loves hair grippers. The beautiful thing about that gripper is I lay it along the parting and I push it. It's basically made of a soft form of like a Velcro. It grips onto the hair. It lays the hair over. The short side hair is free and the long side hair is protected under the gripper. Get your grippers at clipperguy.com. Step number one, strike your parting with product for tack. Step number two, 
finish up your short side, which we did with our clipper. Step number three, isolate the hair on the long side. Now, here's where we cut the hard part. We're first going to tap it in with a trimmer, tap it in with a trimmer, then we're going to etch it in with the razor. And there's two keys to these two techniques. On technique number one, tap it in with our trimmer. The important technique is I want to keep the non-moving blade laid against the long hair, and I want the short hair to be where I take the hair from, and I want to be able to see the moving teeth. Notice when I tip the trimmer down like this, if you can't see the moving blade, you can't see what you're cutting. You want to be able to see the blade to see what you're cutting. Now, I'm going to switch sides so the camera can catch this for you as I do it. But as I switch sides here, I turn my trimmer on. When I go in to etch my hard parting, my hair is isolated there. The non-moving blade is towards the long side hair, and I'm going to tap, 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 tap. Tap. Notice I tap. Notice I don't drag the trimmer across the scalp. I come in at a high or steep angle with the non-moving blade against the longer hair on the heavy side that I'm seeking to protect, and I'm simply going to tap. And by tapping like that, I get a very small, very narrow, but very clean parting there. I'll scrape away or comb away any hair that's been cut, and you can see I've got my clean, hard parting at the scalp. That was tapping it in with the trimmer. Now, the next step is to etch it in clean, and a couple things we want to do. Number one, we want to lubricate the scalp. We can use Jatai Healthy Luxury Shave Cream, a tiny little bit of it on our finger, and lay it in along the parting. We can also use Blade Glide. I think Blade Glide is perfect for this. It's gentle on the skin, it's got a nice mild fragrance, it lubricates the skin and it slides beautifully. I can spray it directly at the parting, or I can spray it in my hand, and I can take it from my hand and lay it along the parting. Just laying it in there on the surface that I want to etch. And I want to get a nice, clean line to the scalp I don't want to cut a gap in there. I don't want a huge slice down here, big enough, looks like a driveway in front of a farmhouse, and you can back a car down it. That's not what we're after. And the answer to this is, I can use my traditional feather shaving razor, or I can use, and that's the Scotch wood handle, that's a great razor, or I can use my nape and body razor. Now, nape and body features the wire-wrapped blades, that are protecting you from cutting your client. These are awesome. And you'll notice in my Scotchwood handle, I have a ProGuard blade. The ProGuard blade is the larger blade that also features the wire wrapping across the blade to protect you and not cut your client. Doesn't matter which one we use, they're gonna operate the same. I'm gonna hold my razor between my middle and ring finger. I set my thumb here along the handle. Now, the key to etching in a parting is this. I'm going to set my thumb above the parting. I'm going to set my razor at the parting. And I want to show you what I'm not going to do, and then I want to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to lift off the head here. I'm not going to do this. My hand with the razor is not going to move. I'm going to do this. It's my thumb. It's all in my thumb. Thumbs up. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to put the thumb there, I'm going to set the razor on the skin, and I'm going to go, scoot, scoot, scoot. See my thumb moving just a little bit? What that's going to do, and you can't see this on the scalp because it's a mannequin, but you know the scalp will move, the razor will remain still. So when I set the razor on the skin and I go boop, boop, with my thumb, and I set the razor on the skin and I go boop, boop, with my thumb, and I set the razor on the skin and I go boop, boop, with my thumb, I'm going to clean a beautiful little etching into that parting. If I try to make any movement here, big, big, I can't make a movement small enough 
with this hand. Any kind of movement here with the hand is going to cut that gap too wide. So I set my razor in boop, with my thumb. I set my razor in boop, with my thumb. Because if my thumb moves a quarter of an inch, the scalp will move a sixteenth, a fraction of what I'm showing you. So set the razor in and pop it. Set the razor in and pop it. I didn't give you the sound effect that time. You know, boop, that's what it does. But I'm going to set the razor down, boop, set the razor down, boop. And I'm only going to do it once. I'm repeatedly showing you this to help me make my point. But I'm going to etch, I'm going to etch, I'm going to etch, I'm going to etch, I'm going to etch. Notice, rock solid, steady, stable on the razor, boop, boop, on the thumb. That's the key to etching in using a Jatai blade and to create a beautiful hard parting. I'm Ivan Zoot for Jatai Academy. Hard partings are such a part of what we do. No pun intended. They're a part of what we do every day. We're going to have a beautiful look here that's going to really pick up on that current style. We're going to use our uh, full-size razor, our SS with our ProGuard blade or our Napen body razor with our Napen body blade. We're going to use our blade glide for smooth shaving and a clean finish or the healthy luxury shave cream. Strike your parting, finish up your short side, isolate your top, tap in with a trimmer, clean it in with a razor. You've got a beautiful hard parting. J A T A I dot net on the web. I'm Ivan Zoot, I'm Clipper Guy. Thanks for watching and have a great day.